26. Write the balance cell reaction for the cell schematic below. Calculate the standard cell potential and note whether the reaction is spontaneous under standard state conditions. Okay, so we have the cell schematic. This is basically the same as a cell diagram. Now, just remember how we interpret this is that if we look at our diagram here, the anode is always mentioned first. That's always oxidation. And the cathode is always mentioned last. That's reduction. Now, in this case, we do see that we have some platinum solids going on here. These platinums are only here because your anode and your cathode did not have a solid in there. So whenever you don't have one component that's a solid that's acting as the electrode, you need to add a solid in there. As far as the platinum goes, though, this is an inert uh, electrode, inert, I-N-E-R-T, and that just means that it does not exist on the balanced equation when we do write that cell reaction, a.k.a. the balanced equation. So goodbye to this. I don't need it for the cell reaction and for my standard cell potential. Goodbye to this as well. Now, just like we said before, the first component is the anode. And the second component is the cathode. That's really going to come in handy when we're going to try to calculate the cell potential, which is what we're going to try to do now. The standard cell potential is always a E cell. Now this little notch on the top just means that we're dealing with standard state conditions. And they said standard cell potential, standard state conditions. So that means that I can go in the back of the textbook to find out what the cell values, the cell potential values are for each component. Now, the standard cell potential for the whole entire reaction, the formula is this. The standard cell, the E cell, is just equal to the potential of the cathode minus the potential of the anode. Now, if we didn't know which one was the cathode or the anode, it would be easy to talk about it in terms of which one gets more positive, which one gets more negative. However, since we already know which is the cathode and which one is the anode, I don't need that. I know that the hydrogen is going to be the anode. So maybe I'll just say, you know, the H2. I'm just picking H2. You're going to put H+. And the bromines are the cathode. I'm going to put Br2. Now, when I do my standard cell potential, I only take these values. I don't care what the balanced equation is. Notice how we're not doing the balanced equation yet. I don't care what the coefficients are. The only thing that matters are these values. And if you are doing cathode minus anode, um, you do not have to change the numbers that are in the back of the textbook. So I'm just going to go straight for it. The E cell for this would be the cathode, the bromine value, is 1.0873, and that's minus zero, right? This one has no potential, zero straight across the board. So even if I did 1.0873, I have the calc key. Might as well plug it in, right? But we all know it's going to be the same number. So E cell equals, oh, what kind of C was that? It's getting late, guys. It's getting late on my end. It's 2.27 a.m. But we keep going. We keep going for the channel for you guys. So anyway, this is the same number. And that is the standard cell potential. Now, we can just jump down to finding out, is this spontaneous or not? Well, that just comes from the sign. If you have a positive E cell value, the reaction is spontaneous. If you have a negative E cell value, it's non-spontaneous. So here, this is clearly a positive value. So I know that this is a spontaneous reaction. And two out of the three we have completed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and put this over to the side. Oh, boy. Oh, that actually works. Can I do this here? Eh, might be running into the equation. I'll just keep it here. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to work on that balanced equation. And what we have to do is we're basically 
just going to notice who's the anode and who's the cathode and match them up with the half reactions that were in the back of the textbook. Now just know that if you have electrons on the right, is this the right side? No, this is the left side. If you have electrons on the left side, I still don't know my left from my right. I need to put up my hands with the, you know, make the L's. And whichever one makes the actual L is the left side. So these electrons are on the left side. This is showing you a cathode reaction. Well, that's perfect because this has to be a cathode. So the bromine, the bromine reaction is going to be the cathode. However, the H2 reaction is the anode. I don't want these electrons on the left side. I want them on the other side. So what am I going to do to get those electrons on the other side? Yeah, I need to flip that reaction. So anything that goes to the, that's on the left goes to the right, and anything that goes on the right goes to the left. So I'm just gonna write that. It doesn't matter which one you say first, whether you do the anode or the cathode. I'm just gonna go from left to right, so I'll write the anode first. So I have H2, gas yields, 2H plus aqueous plus 2 electrons. Now we also could have done this by just looking at your cell schematic. This H2 gas was going into H plus. This was going into this plus, and then you just add the electrons. Same thing for the Br2. The Br2, the aqueous, was stated first, so that means that this is going into the Br minus. And that's exactly what this equation is saying at the bottom. Br2 aqueous plus two electrons yields two Br minus. Just know that when you do a cell schematic, no coefficients are added. Now, in order to add these up, those electrons have to be the same. But look, they already are. Two electrons, two electrons. So I'm all ready to add this reaction up. The electrons are going to cancel. And anything that's on the left side stays on the left side. Anything that's on the right side stays on the right side. So we have H2 gas plus Br2 aqueous. And that will yield 2H plus. That's aqueous plus 2Br minus, and just know that this is also aqueous, Br minus aqueous. And we are done. Whoop, whoop. Okay. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Love talking to you guys, and thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your kind comments. Um, we're so happy that we can help you out in your subjects. We got physics and math videos on the channel, so maybe we can help you with that, with more subjects coming your way. Um, thank you for using this channel to learn your subjects. My brother and I, we really do appreciate you. And it's all because of you guys that this channel exists. So thanks for being part of the community. And I will talk to you later. Have an awesome day. I'm going to get some sleep. Night, night.